Hi everyone and welcome to Revise Chemistry with Mr B. In this video we're going to be revising covalent bonding which is a very important topic for paper 1. The first thing we need to remember is covalent bonding is between a non-metal and another non-metal atom and the atoms share electrons to get a full outer shell and be stable. In this first example, we're going to see how two chlorine atoms can join together to make a chlorine molecule. So here we have the first chlorine atom. It's in group seven, so it's got seven electrons in the outer shell. That needs one more electron. The other chlorine atom has also got seven electrons in the outer shell, and that also needs one more electron. You'll notice I've drawn one atom with crosses and one with dots. It doesn't matter which way round to do that. These are called dot and cross diagrams. So first of all, I'm going to redraw these with the outer shells overlapping. And I'm going to give each of those atoms the seven electrons it has without sharing any to start with. So that's got seven electrons and the other chlorine atom has also got seven electrons. Now the chlorine atom on the left needs one more electron to have eight altogether with a full outer shell. So I'm going to move this electron round, this dot from the one on the right. So that electron is then going to come round to here. So the atom on the left now has eight in its outer shell. Now, if the chlorine atom on the right is sharing one electron with its partner, then the partner shares one back. So I'm now going to move one of the crosses round. Okay, and put that there. So now we can see the atom on the left has still only got seven crosses, which was its own original electrons, but in the sharing zone in the middle where the shells are overlapping, it's also sharing a dot from the other atom. So now that's got eight overall. Similarly, the atom on the right has got seven electrons, seven dots of its own, and with the cross it's sharing, that makes eight. So that's also got a full outer shell. The other way we can show these um, covalent bonds is with a stick. So we've got a chlorine atom next to another chlorine atom, and the stick in the middle signifies a covalent bond. That's one pair of electrons being shared between the two atoms. In the second example, we're going to see how two oxygen atoms join together to make an oxygen molecule, O2. So here's my first oxygen atom. We're only showing the outer shell electrons once again, and there's six in the outer shell, because it's in group six. The second oxygen atom I've chosen to draw as dots because I did the first one as crosses. I could have done it the other way around. And we can see that both atoms need to gain two electrons this time to be stable. So the first thing I'm going to do is draw the outer shells overlapping. And I'm going to put the six electrons on each. So six crosses on the left hand atom and six dots on the right hand one without them sharing to start with and then i'm going to move them into the sharing zone now each atom needs two more electrons so let's start with the one on the left it's got six crosses so it's going to need to share two dots from the other atom so i'm going to move these dots into the sharing zone so that's the first one so now it's got seven electrons altogether. So I still need to move one more round. Now the atom on the left has got six of its own electrons, two that it's sharing as well, that makes eight. But the atom on the right has still only got six dots of its own. Now it's sharing two with its partner, so the partner shares two back. So let's move two of those from the one on the left around. So they're going to go, there's the first one going in the sharing zone and we'll move another one round as well. So that also goes in the sharing zone. So now we can see the atom on the right has got six of its own electrons, six dots, 
plus the two crosses it's sharing. So that's now got eight and a full outer shell. This time, how do we show that with sticks? Well, we've got an oxygen atom joining with another oxygen atom, but we've got two pairs of electrons. A pair there and a pair of electrons there. And this is what we call a double covalent bond because we're sharing two pairs of electrons between the two atoms. So in example three, we've got a hydrogen atom joining with a chlorine atom. And if we show what the hydrogen atom looks like, it's only got one electron. So that means it still only needs one more electron because that first shell is full when it's got two electrons. The chlorine atom is in group seven, so it's got seven electrons in the outer shell. So also that needs one more electron. So we're going to start off by drawing the shells overlapping. Here's the chlorine atom, here's the hydrogen atom. And once again, I'm going to show the electrons they've got without sharing. So hydrogen's got one electron, chlorine has got seven in the outer shell. So hydrogen is going to need one more electron. So let's move around one of those chlorine electrons. So we'll move this one here. And we're going to draw it in the sharing zone. So now hydrogen's got two. It's got its own dot plus the cross that's being shared from chlorine. But chlorine's still only got the seven crosses. And if it's sharing a cross with hydrogen, hydrogen shares an electron back. So let's move that dot around to the sharing zone. And now they're both stable. Hydrogen's got two electrons. That first shell is full and chlorine has got eight electrons to fill its outer shell. And once again, we can show this with the stick diagram. So that would be hydrogen next to a chlorine, and we've got one pair of electrons this time, so one stick. In example four, methane, we've got one carbon atom joining to four hydrogen atoms. So here's the four hydrogen atoms. Here's the carbon atom, it's in group four, so it's got four in the outer shell. And on your exam, you would actually see this drawn for you, where we've got the carbon atom, and it would show four hydrogens around it. So we're going to go straight in with this one. Hydrogen is going to share its one electron with carbon there. And so carbon is going to share one electron back. This hydrogen is going to share its one electron to carbon and carbon shares one electron back. This carbon shares an electron with hydrogen, hydrogen shares one back and so on. So the carbon has got four crosses of its own plus it's getting four dots from the four hydrogens, so that's got eight on the outer shell that's stable, and each hydrogen has its own dot, plus it's sharing one of the crosses from carbon. Now the way we'd show this with a stick picture is we've got a carbon atom surrounded by four hydrogen atoms, and between each one there's just one pair of shared electrons, so it would look like this. Example five is ammonia, NH3, which is a common question on the exam. And on the exam, it would look like this. You'd have the shells already overlapping and drawn for you. So what we're going to use is the same method once again. We're going to start off by not sharing the electrons. So we'll put nitrogen's five electrons down here because it's in group five. So it's got five in the outer shell. Each hydrogen, remember, has one dot one electron on that small shell. So each hydrogen needs one more electron from nitrogen. So let's start moving those around. We'll move this electron here up to the top hydrogen. There it is. We'll move this electron here round to the hydrogen here. And we'll move this electron 
round to the hydrogen here. So now each hydrogen is stable because each hydrogen's got two electrons. It's got its own dot plus the cross it's sharing, but nitrogen still only has the five crosses it started with. So hydrogen needs to start sharing the same number of electrons back to the nitrogen. So each one's receiving one from nitrogen. So hydrogen's going to share one back. So we'll start with this electron here and put it in the sharing zone. Then we'll do the same with the top hydrogen atom. Put that electron in the sharing zone. And the same with the hydrogen atom on the right. So now nitrogen is stable with a full outer shell because it's got the five crosses that it's always had plus the three electrons it's getting from the three hydrogen atoms. And the way we would show that with a stick diagram is one nitrogen in the middle We've got a hydrogen to the left, hydrogen to the right, and one above. And in each sharing zone, we've only got one pair of electrons. So we draw one stick to show each of those covalent bonds. This is also another very common question on paper one, water H2O. So you'd see it set out like this in the exam. So first of all, oxygen's in group six, so it has six electrons on the outer shell. So let's put three up here at the top, doesn't matter where we put them to start with, and we'll have three down here. As we know, hydrogen has one electron. So we can see each hydrogen needs one more electron. So let's start with the left-hand hydrogen, and we'll move this electron round from oxygen. We'll just slide it round and put it in the sharing zone. Similarly, the right-hand hydrogen also needs an electron, so let's slide one of these round from the top of oxygen and put that in the sharing zone. So now each hydrogen has a full shell with two electrons, that small shell, but oxygen still only has the six crosses of its own. So hydrogen needs to start sharing back with oxygen. So let's start with the left hand one and this electron here is going to move round into the sharing zone. Similarly, the right hand hydrogen is going to share its electron with oxygen. So now oxygen is also stable. It's got the six crosses it's always had, plus the two electrons it's sharing from the two hydrogens. So now that's got eight electrons with a full and stable outer shell. And the way we'd show this is a stick picture. We've got an oxygen in the middle with a hydrogen on each side. And in each of those overlapping sharing zones, we've only got one pair of electrons. So that gets one stick. So if you found this video useful, please remember to subscribe and tell all your friends about it. Thank you for watching.